Hello, I'm Georgina from the Sunderland Echo. I'm originally from Wolverhampton, but I went to Sunderland University for three years and I've lived here for the last five. Hi, I'm Jason, I'm from Kent. I've lived in Sunderland for six years and I've worked for the Echo for one. Today we're putting two Sunderland Echo reporters we consider honorary Mackhams to the test. Georgina and Jason, do you know, or can you guess, the meaning of these seven Mackham slang words? Now, some are of a particular vintage, so given your ages, we will consider four out of seven a pass. But who will pass with flying colours? First, mint. Is it an impractical idea unlikely to result in success? Something that goes together perfectly with another item? Or is it great, excellent or very pleasing? I'm going to go for the third one. Great, excellent or very pleasing. Mint, so it's the third one. Great, excellent or very pleasing. Yep. Yay! <laughs> Raji. Is it flimsy and liable to fall apart, poorly constructed, very angry, erupting in fury, or soft and squishy, particularly suitable for a child to play with? So, you know, I feel like people use this in different ways because they say that's rash. That can also mean bad, I think, but also, but also good. I've not been described as it, but I know exactly what it is. Um, it's very angry and a bit, that sort of thing, yeah. I'm gonna go very angry. Number two. Woohoo! Got them doing well. Clip. Is that someone whose dress sense is not the best? Someone whose taste in partners is not the best? Someone whose cooking skills are nothing like as good as they think they are? That's got to be an old. Is that an older one? Oh. oh I haven't got a clue. I've got no idea on that. I've heard people say clip, but I would. I know it's not it's not good. I'm gonna say the dress sense one. I think old oh, someone whose tasting partner is not the best. Number two. Oh, get in. Oh no! <laughs> Hacky look. Is it a fashion statement that's gone wrong? Another way of saying, e.g., a dirty look or giving the evils, or is it a fierce, penetrating investigation? I've never heard of a hacky look. Oh, that's got to be an old one again, surely. Never not heard that one. Um... I'm going to go number two, another way of saying giving a dirty look. Oh, hackney look. Is it like a, the third one, like the investigation sort of thing? No. Oh. Yem, Y-E-M. Is that a favoured pet, one's home, or a sweet or chocolate? It sounds like a sweet or chocolate, but I don't know that's too obvious. Yem, home. Near that one straight away, yep. One's home. Oh. God, that was a good guess. Next we have Clem. Is it a journey? you've taken in the wrong direction? Is it an accumulation of unwanted items in the home? Or is it a unit of weight, usually meant unkindly? I know this one because I've heard people say he's put on a bit of clem. Oh, again, I don't think I've heard this one. So, number three. Is it the second one there, the unwanted items? No. We have to say there is a, a plural of Clem, which is, has an entirely different meaning, but we shall leave it at that. And seventh and last, Shan, S-H-A-N. Does that mean twisted, unfair, or just generally wrong? Beautiful, gorgeous, and especially shiny, or huge or inflated to an unnatural degree? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's good or bad. Is it not the second one? Mm. Is it? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm going to go number one, twisted, unfair, or just generally wrong. Oh, that was a good guess. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, this is awful. And so we have a winner. But both our honorary Mackhams have passed the test and can be officially considered canny bands. Ganon. <laughs>